Jeremiah here, and I have to apologize. Uh, the last couple weeks have been a little crazy busy. Um, so, uh, you know, my midweek warm ups I've gotten a couple weeks behind on. Uh, but just continuing that. Hope you're doing well. And uh, hopefully, I'm going to get, get a little more used to this schedule so I can be a little more regular with this. But a couple weeks ago, started with on our midweek warm up, just kind of walking through and, and to the 23rd Psalm. Uh, our pastor here has been preaching from this, and it just really sparked my my thoughts. And, and so for a couple of weeks, I just wanted to share this with you, maybe help to encourage you, uh, as well as just, man, just see some stuff that's that's awesome truth in here. Um, but Psalm 23, we, we looked at verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, which is just an awesome promise. And so today, just moving on, verse 2, uh, He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside still waters. Uh, wow. And and the appropriateness of this, if not for anyone else, definitely for me, uh, is this this one has been hit me in the face the last few days. Um, but he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. What a picture of the shepherd. There's two, there's a couple things that are just really awesome right here. Uh, first, uh, you know, with the shepherd close, walking in the shepherd's presence, um, the sheep can lie down and rest. When you think about that, they know that the shepherd's there, and it says he makes me to lie down in green pastures. Just, they know I'm safe here. As long as I'm with the shepherd, I'm going to be okay. And so they can, they can lay down in, in peace. They can be free from fear. Uh, it not only speaks to, to Jesus and, and his incredible love for us, but it's a reminder of us of, of the promise and the purpose of the Holy Spirit. The Comforter has come to give us comfort, uh, to make us lie down in green pastures, to lead us beside the still waters. You know, we face a lot of tumultuous things, and there's a lot of stuff out there. We know there's a real enemy. But when we're walking with the shepherd, we can know he's going to lead us to a place of peace. And even surrounded by difficulty, surrounded by turmoil, you know, when the, when the sheep were in the open field, they were still in danger. There was still stuff around them that could hurt them. We read about David, and, you know, a lion came up when he was watching the sheep, and a bear came up when he was watching the sheep. There's very real danger. This doesn't negate the fact that we face difficulty, but it's the promise that even when we are in difficulty or facing difficulty, and there's more about this later on, the presence of the shepherd brings us peace. We can trust the shepherd to lead us to the place of peace and quietness. And, and maybe it's a reminder for us, too, that, that we need to keep our eyes on the shepherd. And at least it is, is for me. Sometimes I look at everything else when I forget my number one job is to be close to the shepherd and lay down and rest. We have confidence that He will give us rest, body, mind, and spirit. He'll cause us to lie down. A couple other quick things that jump out at me because I don't want to keep you all day. He makes me lie down. He gives me rest. He gives me peace. But in green pastures. Now, the significance of a green pasture to a sheep is... Uh, it, it's it's the food supply. It's, you know, we think of a place of rest, but it's what they need. It goes back to verse 1. He said, I, I shall not want. He supplies all of my needs, Paul put it later, according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He knows how to lead us to the place of provision. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Boy, this is a good reminder for me. God provides. God provides. He leads me to a place of provision. A sheep laying down in green pastures is a good place because he don't even have to get out of bed to have breakfast. The shepherd knows how to provide for the sheep and he will lead them to a place of provision. God will do the same for us. He said, he leads me beside still waters. Again, 
a place of refreshing, a place of provision, uh, and not just any water, but still waters, a place where you can restfully be refreshed. Here on our island, uh, there's two places, basically, of, of water. And I know we're all surrounded by water, but listen to me. There's the northern shore, and there's the southern shore. And we've had opportunity to tour a little bit with some rangers and things. And for someone who just doesn't know, we live near the northern shore. So uh, the quickest, easiest thing for us to do would be to shoot up, go to the northern shore, if we're going to go hit some water or something like that to go to the northern shore because it's quicker, it's easier, it's there. But through our tour guides and our friends here, we've learned that the northern shore, though it's quick access, is a very poor place to hang out because the northern shore is where the winds come in to Curacao. We get the winds off of the sea, off the ocean, uh, a pretty constant trade wind, and, and severe winds at times 10 plus meters high waves. Uh, to go to those waters, there's very few places on the northern shore that you could very safely go into the water. Most of it, if you tried to approach those waters, you'd be bashed against the cliffs. Uh, you'd be drowned. It's, it's a mess. But the southern shore, because the winds are, are not coming in as heavy, you still get the waves, you still get the beauty but you don't get the danger. It's a place where you can enjoy the water, where you can rest, uh, where you can, you know, go and, uh, you know, swim or, or see. It's the same water, just the approach of the winds make the difference. And the only way you know is if you have an experienced tour guide. Now, looking at here, there's a lot of water we have out there. The shepherd knows the good water. He knows how to lead us beside the still water because you don't want to be drinking from a fire hose. We need to have a place of refreshing that is that. He knows how to take us to those places of, of peace, of refreshment, uh, the trustworthy waters. He leads us to a place where we can be refreshed. We could go and try and find it on our own, and a lot of times we do, and generally what we do, when we try to go find our own peace, we go to find our own refreshment, we take matters into our own hands, we get lost, we end up in places where we shouldn't be, we end up in waters that are knocking us silly. We trust the shepherd, he knows how to lead us to the good streams, the good pastures. It's not always the easiest to get to. Sometimes there's a journey that gets us to that place. But once we get there, there's peace, there's refreshment. Because we're with the shepherd. So today, trust the leading of the shepherd. He knows how to provide rest for you. He knows how to provide peace for you. He knows how to provide refreshment for you. He knows how to provide. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Father, right now we thank you for your peace, your leading, the presence of our good shepherd. Lord, help us learn to rest in your peace today. Help us learn to follow you and your leading because you know the green pastures, you know the still waters. And if we will keep our eyes on the shepherd, you will take us to that place of peace and refreshing and rest, even in the midst of turmoil. God, help us today, those especially who are facing challenges and difficulties, that today they would rest in the leading of the shepherd. That today they would find rest in those pastures, those places of refreshing and provision through your presence. God, we thank you, we trust you, we fix our eyes on you, our good shepherd, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Awesome. Uh, got a little warning here on here, don't switch. Okay, cool, I don't know what it was telling me to do, but hey, rest in the good shepherd today, pray you have an awesome day, awesome rest of your week, and we will be, be talking to you again soon.